Oh, what's up? I'll be your dungeon master this evening. This is Venture Ventures. We're going to play some D&D, Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus. It's session episode 14. We had the curse of episode 13 last week because I was an idiot and selected the wrong microphone. So uh, the DM couldn't be heard. It was just a bunch of players talking to no one. Uh, as far as anyone watching is concerned. Uh, but, Gary, did I do it correctly this time? You did. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, previously, uh, there's a bunch of combat heading to High Hall in Avernus. Uh, El Terrell had been pulled down into Hell, and they're heading to High Hall Cathedral uh, to... Locate older Raven Guard and basically uh, try to figure out how to get El Terrell back to its rightful place. Older Raven Guard is the, I guess he still is the head of Baldur's Gate, but was tricked to go to El Terrell before it was taken, so therefore he's in El Terrell in Hell. And uh, yeah. Uh, we left off after killing an Abishai, and this is basically a patrol outside of the cathedral. And uh, you guys are are uh, outside the cathedral. <clears throat> well, I'm going to peel the Abishai off of my body, as I believe it was the last thing that was pincushioned to me. Yep. <laughs> and as I do, I <laughs> shove it off, and I just, oh, God, that hurts. And I pull the arrow out and I kind of toss it back in Relico's direction. Like, here you go. Like, thanks, bud. Good, sorry good sorry about that. No, no problem. It's all good. Uh, you killed him. Good job. And I reach down and I'm just going to check the Abishai for any pouches or pockets. Um, make a investigation check. It's going to be real difficult rolling on these tiny tables. Not 20 for a 19. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Um, you find basically what he had, the weapons he had on him. Uh, they're not magical weapons, I'll tell you that. What was he hitting us with? I thought he was Freely. trying to bite us. Uh, he did try to... That was part of his multi-attack. Let me pull mm. him up. Whoa. Wrong search. White Abishai... I don't think you'll be interested in it, but just to... Probably not. <laughs> a long sword. And his armor is natural. Yeah. It's a cool-looking long sword, but... Yeah. No real use. All right, well, it doesn't have any pockets, it, it looks close. like. Well, I suggest we go inside. I don't want to sit down. And yeah, then... so... Yep. Sounds good to me. At the top of the stairs leading into the cathedral, it's in, uh, looked over by an archway, and there's a long hall containing eight uh, columns. And some of the columns have been carved to represent Torm, but some of, as you saw outside in one of the, the uh, columns, it's changed to look like a winged... Female devil wielding a luminous sword. And uh, as you enter this large area, you see paintings and statues and other works uh, with, in various... Uh, some of them are in various poses of, of the, showing the strength of El Terrell, but half or maybe a little bit more have been changed to show... It's citizenry being tortured, it's citizenry being tempted to do various things, um, and uh, yeah, the ceiling's 15 feet high, and there's curtains dividing part of this large room, and I posted the map in the pinned reference material. Uh, believe it or not, that is the player map. So neat. Um, 
the statues that are transitioning are the ones closer to the center, the ones that are still torn, or is it the ones on the outside? It's pretty there? random. Pretty random. Well, then I'm just going to walk up to the closest statue of Torm and like just lean up, lean my back up against it, and just slide down and sit down. If okay. there's no, if there's no like dudes around, um, I figured you would have mentioned that if there, if there were. Yeah, you don't hear anything, uh, just based on your passive perception. But if anyone would like to make an active perception check, you may. Yeah, I would. This is where we thought that one guy would be. What was his right. name? Uh, What's in the Raven Guard? Here where it says, yeah. Old Raven Guard. So, beyond some curtains that are torn and tattered, and you see just dead people, a few dead people scattered about, um, in the center, you see a uh, an altar on a raised dais in the center of this massive room made of beautifully beautifully polished teak wood and it takes the shape of a gauntleted hand clenched into a fist so it's like this in the center palm up just clenched into a fist a large lever you can see stands next to the altar suggesting that it has some sort of mechanical function <laughs> Jerry Hello. goes over to it and he starts going like, he starts like kind of looking at it and looking back at his own fist. It's just like, that's pretty cool. And I like that. I like that wood. It's beautiful. I rolled a 19 for my perception. And other than the... To see the, if I hear anybody like hiding maybe. Yeah, other than the, the norm of what you were hearing outside and some of it making its way into this massive cathedral... Uh, you don't hear anything. Okay. Uh, there are two stairways uh, entering the hall that lead up. And um... meanwhile, yeah, while Kairos is. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. So, say, meanwhile, while Kairos is sitting down, I, I start casting a ritual of detect magic. Sounds good. I'll wait for that to finish before we go check out upstairs. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to attempt to short rest if I can pull it off and something doesn't try to In eat an any hour? of my friends. I'd like to. <clears throat> I'm si I'm just sitting down, though, so we'll see what happens when they start looking around the rest of the cathedral. It's all good. Okay. Carry on. Yeah, Jerry's sitting I down highly next. doubt I'm going to pull this Jerry's off. Sitting down I'm just saying, I'm, I'm sitting down <laughs> near the front and wrapping my wounds. Jerry looks over at Kairos <laughs> and also sits down. Okay. It's very... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just... I, I just fully like, expect to get interrupted. <laughs> yeah, when, the DM, when the DM says, in an hour... <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I just... Yeah, I like the idea that you're in a city that's been pulled into hell with massive chains connected to it. It's being torn apart by devils and demons. Let's take a nap. And let's just I it's I think it's plausible <laughs> because your characters are dead tired. Uh, exactly. But it's just funny. Yeah, I feel like we just went through like three or four encounters. And I also just rolled for encounters, so uh, <laughs> So the detect magic <laughs> you get through that and you see a lot of illusion magic, Jarvis, where the paintings are um, and where the statues are. It's pretty plausible that all of this changed once the city was pulled into hell. So, yeah. Paintings and what else was pretty much everything in here was pinging of illusion. You said, yeah, illusion. Cool. And well, as the time, do you want to do anything else? Um, I was gonna. Uh, was the uh, what you call it in the middle of the cathedral? The fist. Uh, yeah. Teakwood fist. Yeah. Was that pinging of magic at all, or? Uh, there's. There's some magic on it. It's not any arcane magic, uh, okay. but it is like you don't 
it's you can tell it's there's magic on it but it's not giving you the normal spectrum of magics well jarvis while these guys rest you want to go check out upstairs yeah okay you think they're going to be okay you think anyone might come while we're I, gone i'm more worried about us but let's go <laughs> <laughs> that's true we're, we're like the squishy people and we're i'm at half health i don't know about you i'm fine perfectly fine i'll cool. go first um Wait. meanwhile i'm going to keep an open i assume with message even though they're taking a short rest he can still yeah. i can message to keep an open calm yeah you cool. you're, you think you're going to be within range ray is going to go with you and lulu's going to stay down and she says i'll, I'll protect them and, all right uh, blows what is she gonna do nothing trunk. like she did last time she tried to tusk people okay and she succeeded, I think, once. She did. Well, she tried to save me from getting eaten by a dog, and that failed miserably. <laughs> anyway, Leave Lulu alone. Okay. Yeah, she's you, a sweet you, person. I'm not happy with. I'm not happy with Lulu, but we'll 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 go without her. I'm okay with that. She will sparkle the shit out of you. It is true. Uh, <laughs> yes, she will. <laughs> so heading up the spiral stone staircase at the top. You uh, realize this is a balcony, and you see a magnificent pipe organ. Its ivory keys are practically glowing, and uh, the ebony keys seem to absorb light. Uh, and, um, yeah, that's what you see right now. Do both stairs lead up to the same room? Yes, so sir. Okay. And all that's up here is just the balcony. Uh, the balcony, and you see some more curtains, dividing curtains uh, on the far end of the this section of the balcony. Not seeing anything out of place up here. Are the dividing curtains like hiding something on the other side? Yeah, based on based on what you saw downstairs with all the ripped and torn curtains, they're they're situated around the central chamber downstairs and they were dividing various places for people to worship Torm, speak with a priest. Uh, It's kind of meant to muffle, muffle the, the cacophonous sounds that might've been present without the curtains. Uh, So yes, to answer your question. Yes. And they went up the stairs at the front of the cathedral, not yes. the stairs at the back. Okay. Gotcha. Well, you want to go try to pull that lever? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but I don't want to be anywhere near it when I pull it. So my magical hand is going to do that. All right. Okay. So you want to head back downstairs. Heading back downstairs. Okay. About 20 Real quick. minutes. Real quick, can I check for like footprints up here to see if it looks like somebody's been up here recently? Sure, make a uh, investigation check. Well, that's not great. Twelve. Yeah, you see plenty of uh, dust prints from okay. the the whole city periodically yeah. shakes, and so stone bits and pieces and there's just a ton of rock debris and and dust um but yeah you think a lot of people have been up here at various times but it's really hard to discern Mm -hmm. whether somebody recently how how far so this balcony overlooks where like we can see the rest of our party down there right yeah so how far are we from that uh center thing with the knob Oh my goodness! Probably a hundred, a hundred feet. Awesome! Not close enough to use my mage hand. It's a big room. <laughs> yeah, no, I was. Uh, yeah. Uh, so cool. you want to head downstairs, get close to the fist, and pull it? Yeah. This this might be a good place for you to do the arrow thing you did before. If anything bad happens. Uh, roll a kiss. Yeah, that's what I do. I shoot people with arrows. <laughs> okay. So you're going to use your mage hand to pull the lever. Let's see. 
Uh, what happens when you pull the lever is the hand opens up. Like, like this. I think it wants something. Did the pinging off of the, the magical ping off of that change at all? Off the nope. hand? Nope. Just, um, it's hey, pretty, Carter. it's pretty obvious that it's there to accept something. Offerings and, uh, in religious ceremonies or or what if we give it that thing you have in your pocket kairos what someone to say my name yeah in the front of the cathedral like oh you're way over 50 there feet away yeah i sat down on the first statue that i <laughs> got it i thought you were a little bit closer oh no, way this, up front yeah this room is he's a method actor feet long <laughs> it's massive so I, I walk back over to Kairos and checking he's my sopping notes. up some blood. I totally forgot what it was called. <laughs> Can we say he has a sponge for some reason and he's using a sponge? Yep. Okay, fantastic. Yep. I just like the idea of him having a sponge, sponge soaking up blood. Squeezing it out. <laughs> it makes me laugh. So I walk over, I guess, to Kairos. Stops quicker this way if you do it this way. So do we get a short rest or how long have we been? Uh, you're about 30 minutes now, Dave. Okay. You haven't died yet. Half, halfway there. Is your like finger ha hovering above your keyboard, just like waiting to hit short <laughs> rest? <laughs> <laughs> now I just really want one of my rages back. I understand. I understand. Hey, hey, Kairos, Mr. Holy Man. Do you know anything about this religion and what they may have like used as like a sacrifice or? Corm, I mean, I know a little bit about him. He's he's one of the good ones, generally speaking. So I mean, justice and uh, justice. goodness, it's something. I I don't know exactly. I don't know. I got this thing. Uh, it's 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 the fist. It has the fist on it. I can give it that, I suppose. Sure. Do you, do we want to finish this rest before we do that? Yeah, I, I'm still sitting down. <laughs> I'll wait for y'all. I mean, I can. You could just try it. And... Yeah, I don't know what God knows. This thing opens up, and <laughs> a million demons pop out of the center. I don't know, man. We're in hell, okay? I'm slightly fair concerned point <laughs> about just everything. <laughs> so, yep. No, I totally get it. Um, you do you need to use the sponge? No, I'm are. good. I'm oh, okay, okay. Solid. All right. I'm just gonna keep. The blood just, I'll be with. Uh, I'll I'll be with you in just a few minutes. <clears throat> So time goes on, and you hear the echoing battles from beneath the city faintly, still going on, wondering if it just continues, it just never, the battles just never stop. Well, it's kind of what we were told by that rock, right? Yeah. Uh, and you get your short rest. Ha <laughs> ha! That's why I was. That that's why I was laughing because I rolled for the encounters and didn't get them, and that's why, <laughs> like, it's so funny to me that you would. Yeah, it's a dangerous thing to do. It's and a you, it's you, a risky move. Out. Yeah, we didn't bar the door. Like, yeah. no, <laughs> it was just like <laughs> I room. thought about it, but I was like, that would shorten my time, so I'm just gonna sit down. <laughs> just I'm gonna, enter I'm a room. Gonna see if I could do this, hit the floor. So I can basically choose how many how many hit die I want to roll. For Correct, that. and you get half half of them back on a long rest. So if you use four, you get two back on a long rest. Is it? And uh, you can roll one at a time. Favorable for the odd number. Like if I have five, do I get three? Uh, I think it rounds down like everything. But pretty much everything rounds down whenever you round. Get it? Okay. In fifth edition, at least. Decisions. Yeah, you can. You get half your total time. back, not half of how many you used. Yeah. Oh, good call. Oh, so I roll all five and then take half. No, no, you roll one by one, depending on how many you want to use. So then, I rolled my first one and I got an eight, which is awesome, but I wanted more. So I rolled again and I got a 10, which is awesome. So I'm going to stop there because I just got two awesome rolls and I'm only going to use two of my hit die. So, so uh, on rest, but, I will get both of them back. But you get nine from that from 18. No, I get 18 plus my constitution, which is four. So I'll get 22. 
the half is for what you get back the next morning. Recharging your hit dice. So right now I've used two hit dice of my five. Yeah. So if we take another short rest, I have three more I can use. Okay. On the long rest, I will get those two I used back. Okay. That's how the those recharge. But the long rest will automatically go back to max HP. Yes, long rest will just heal you back HP. Okay. Yeah. For some reason on D and D Beyond, there's also like a reset maximum HP check mark during this rest. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know what that. Yeah, maybe that's for an, a variant for rule house, or something. House rules. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Got it. Well, that is awesome. I feel great. My Damn sponge it. did awesome. You look a lot better for just sitting down for an hour. Sponge works, man, every time. <clears throat> Clots it faster. It's a good battle trick. I learned it from an, an old guy. All right, so do you want to put that thing in the fist? and? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, get crumped, no pull the lever. And I uh, walk up to it, and I utter the same prayer that I don't remember the exact words I said. It was general. That activated the bridge. Um, and I will set the symbol, the religious symbol of Torm, on the open palm. So you are going to set it on the palm and not pull the lever, correct? If nothing happens right away, I will then pull the lever. Okay. So you set it. Let Jarvis pull the lever. Mage hand. Back up. <laughs> Unless you He's interrupt the very moment, <laughs> you did not say it fast enough for Kairos to to possibly think of that. So you <laughs> put it in the hand and pray nothing happens. And you pull the lever. And, and shrug then... and just yank the lever real fast. <laughs> and it closes into a fist. And... Uh, you hear some mechanical workings going on somewhere in the hand, and uh, I look over my shoulder at my party. Make a religion or charisma check. Okie dokie. Yes. 22, 19 nice. plus 3. Holy schmollies. That's real good. You get all your hit points back. I wish I hadn't used some hit points. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. Because uh, there's only five more to heal. Feel this, but now I'm healed. This religious... It's, it's similar but different from the wash of energy that you feel when you use smite, obviously, because this is healing you. It's 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 like your healing um, mm -hmm. hand or whatever it's called for the paladin. Did your well, cuts just go away? Now. And I just I I just look at the fist and go. Hmm. Was there any visual? Thanks, Storm. <clears throat> to that you saw him, like. But there was no like beam of like. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> No. As I felt it, I mean, I I reacted and held my arms out as. <laughs> I recognize the wash of, of wonderful healing magic. But it sounds like no angels sang, which is a shame. No uh, angels. <laughs> no angels. Uh, well, that was nice. Let's see what else I got to give this thing. That was, uh, I want something more. <clears throat> Anyone else going to do anything? He... I'm at full health, so I don't. Yeah, I, <laughs> need I got to full go. health to hit die. Um, um, is the symbol of Torm gone? Uh, when you look, yes, it is. So yep. something must... There must be a door or something. Yeah, I want to find where all this cool stuff went, and I want to steal it and reuse it. <laughs> I just want to make sure to... Got to be in the fist somewhere or yeah, underneath. You could have dropped it below. Can I... I I'm going to open the fist back up again. Okay. And I'm make gonna a, look. Make, with your hands? Uh, no, definitely using the mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Same way, as, same way as last time. All right. And then what are you going to do? I'm going to look for... You're going to investigate? Yeah. With your hands? Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can't I look without touching things? You can. That's what I'm asking. But are you sure you don't want to use your hands to, like... 
feel for trap doors? Oh, I guess I... Nah. First, I'm going to look. We're going to work through this paranoia that's been <laughs> yeah. built into you. We're going to... No, no we're you're gonna... just adding all this, like, now you're just adding paranoia. <laughs> well, you should come to the... You're going to come to the conclusion by the end of this campaign that it doesn't matter. You just better just do what your character would do and not try to outthink what the DM's thinking because the DM is just going to try to get you to not Well, that's be what my, my character was just looking with the mage hand, and now you're just messing with me. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's also like, so what is the mage hand? Are you going to use a mage hand to push around or something? No, or? no, I was just using it to touch the lever. Okay. That's it. All right. I guess my character would have realized that nothing happened to him and wouldn't have done it again. You also, didn't didn't Kairos mention and hold his arms out and say something? Or did you not, Kairos, about feeling? Oh, yeah, no, I said it felt really nice. Yeah. And then started looking. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I. Something else yeah. to. That's the, the that's the paranoia. No, yep. Yeah. Yep. No. Nope. Also, my remember my brain today is not here. That's fair. So, I'll, yeah. I, that's fair. Um, um, make a uh, charisma religion check, and then make an investigation check. Ten on the charisma or on the religion, and on the investigation, um, twenty mod twenty. Nice. You see a tiny trap door in the creases. This this fist and this hand on this altar is extremely detailed down to the, the fold lines in the hand. And that's how the seams of the trap door are concealed using those uh, lines. And you also notice that kind of going down the back of the hand to where it meets the altar is a larger seam that you think possibly could be a trap door. And once you start messing around with it, sure enough, it folds inward and there's stairs leading downwards. Before you get to that, where you're still poking around, I start going like Jarvis, Jar that's not how you pray that. What do you do? <laughs> Dude, this thing we, went we south. This Whoa, that just opened. <laughs> Carry on. Okay. Um, yeah. So you said some stairs opened up? Yeah, the hand, the wood portion of the, kind of like the palm, the base of the palm, and then down into its wrist. Uh, this hand is huge. Yeah, I was, I'm trying to understand, like, picture, how big is this thing? It's huge. Got, Got it. it. But not tall enough to where we can't reach the hand. Correct. It's it's like it's just this, and got it's it on. And there's like, gotcha. I got you now. It's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, Let's go find that the big hand off. statue. I mean, I guess so. It, it did belong to that asshole. So I mean, I could take it or leave it. I suppose. Wait, should we go down these stairs? Um, sure. Was there anything up? No. There's a giant organ pipe you know, oh sweet did you play it there. no i didn't hear it yep mm -mm. don't want to alert demons to our presence oh that's fair i bet Probably it sounds super nice though. loud being a church at all yeah man. good thing i didn't go up there so yeah maybe we should go down unless you want to i mean we could go up there no 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 let's okay let's go, no, down. let's go down so heading down the stairs obviously it's small getting in the wrist you can easily fit in it but you're not fitting it's not like 10 feet wide uh the stairs open up going down further and uh you see a small isolated tomb at the end of the flight of stairs uh off the open central area of this let this lit level the body of a young woman lies on the beer how do you say that is that beer B-I-E-R, yeah. It always trips me out. A gleaming great sword at her side. She's just laying inert? Correct. Not decayed or anything. Does she look like these statues we had just seen? No. Okay. It looks uh, real. I, does she look like she's breathing? You want to make it, you want to get closer? Yeah, I'll check for a pulse. 
Okay, make an investigation check. I'm gonna lean over to Lulu and just go, Ooh, that's Lulu, really good. didn't you hide a sword? Is that is that the one? No, it's not ringing a bell. Uh, that's weird though. That like, if she's is she dead? It's a twenty-one. And uh, no, or no, she's not alive. She's dead. Okay. Just not decaying somehow. Mm. Is she dead, roller ghost? Yeah, yeah. There, I mean, there's no pulse. Whoa. So I would assume that's dead, unless she's magically I mean, put hit her really hard and see if she wakes up. I mean, there are religious rites that that you can perform that kind of slow the decaying process. I don't know them, but that's not really what I do. They exist. Jarvis, can you check out this sword? And I go to pick it up, and like, it's a great sword, so it's too big for me. So I go to like. Here, here, yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna help him hold it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I got it. <laughs> uh, I I need some time with this if you want me to actually look at it. Is okay. that okay? Like ten minutes or so. It's fine with me. Could be a magical greatsword that could help us defeat the demons. I mean, it could. Down here at the bottom of a church, it could be a demon slaying sword. Who knows? I'm going to look closer at the lady while he's doing that. Um, is she dressed in anything uh, noteworthy? Does she have any symbols um, of Elturel, Hell Riders, anything like that on her? Uh, no, but as you're looking around the altar, you see like a broken plaque and looking at it, kind of putting it together for a number of minutes that he's taking to use identify. Um, basically what it says is this woman slew a young red dragon uh, that was harassing this is before the companion cube showed up that was harassing the residents of El Terrell. Uh she's unarmored and with her great sword uh that she has with her hacked the beast with mighty swings. Uh and she yeah she killed a young dragon and uh they rushed towards her to thank her and reward her for her bravery. As they approached, she fell dead, and she was laid to rest in the most special place in the city, which is the cathedral, and her body never decomposed. So, oh my. what a badass, right? Uh, looking around, so it's a solitary tomb with just this. There's no other exits. There's no other things in the wall. Yeah, there's an exit to the north. The, there's a tunnel leading to the north that tees, and a tunnel leading to the south that tees as well. Gotcha. Well, it looks like we, we found, we're down in the Undercroft, uh, you know, where they keep the dead bodies. Do you She's probably go? not going to be the only one, is my guess. Do you want to go check out the north, and I'll check out the south while Jarvis identifies this? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, 100 feet or so, come back. Yeah. Try to look for where all that stuff goes that goes in that hand while you're over there. Oh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out. So as you were heading down the hand, uh, Jarvis, you see a little shoot of some sort that deposits it at the bottom of the stairs and you see the symbol of Torm. You don't see anything else in there, like in the basket that was. Cool. Uh, who's Tyrus, going? you want this back? No, I mean, sure, I'll hold on to it. Might as well. And I take it. Cool. Uh, roller coaster, you're heading north, right? So you head north, and then it tees, and it heads off east and west, the tunnel. Um, if I just look down both, is it just like more tunnel, or are there rooms Yeah, you the see end? some rooms in the sides, and uh, let me just pull up. I don't want to uh, have you guys, in case you want to explore every nook and cranny, I don't want to uh, confuse you or anything. Nook and cranny. 
Here we go. So you guys came down the stairs in the center. Where did that get posted? Gotcha. In the pinned. Got it, got it. In the pinned channel. Okay. And so, Rollercoast, you headed north, and about 20 feet later, it teed off. Mm -hmm. Same thing happens in the south. Which way do you want to go? Can't go wrong when you're going right. That's what I would do. I'm going south now. Yeah, I'll check the one. I'll go right. Why not? Okay. Uh, I'll go right with them. We went in two different directions. <laughs> I, I went to the south to see what was south. He went north. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go too far. Yeah, no. We said uh, 100 feet. No more. You than. can only go north and south. How could three people go in three different directions? Uh, you said I'm going to go with them, but... Rollercoaster oh, and huh. I went in different directions. <laughs> Which yeah, one go, would you I'll like go, to go with? <laughs> go right. I thought he heard. I thought he heard him say. I could barely hear him. I thought he said he's going to go there too. We're both right. turning right, but we're going in. We're starting in two different directions. One went north. Oh. One went south. Got it. Different staircases. Got it. Hallways. So you want to go in that room, Rollercoaster? Yeah, that gigantic room. The circular that one. No, the one to the south of that. Uh, the so one... If I made two rights, basically. Oh, okay. Uh, you see a this large crypt is presently home to over 100 frightened people being very quiet. They cower behind sarcophagi and alcoves, their eyes red and their cheeks stained with tears. Standing before a red... Standing before a large font is a haggard woman, her gray hair matted with sweat. With one arm, she clutches a leather-bound tome to her breast. In the other hand, she wields a ceremonial mace that you're pretty sure would shatter if struck with anything harder than a pillow. Is, like, everyone staring at me? Yeah, and they're, like... <laughs> We, ready to murder me they're no, i mean they're terrified but they're also oh, okay. somewhat relieved that you don't look like anything they've seen yeah i'm just your neighborhood giant cat what's up guys <laughs> uh the the woman holding the ceremonial mace she comes up to you and she says hello my name is feria feria jinx feria jinx and hey, Feria. We're hiding down here, obviously. Have you seen the the crabs? <laughs> did we fight crabs in the last game? No, we did not. <laughs> no. no, I've seen no crabs. Only your own. You start to hear some. Have you seen crabs? And she goes, "They're coming." Shit. Uh, uh, hide and I like <laughs> see how quickly I can go and get my friends without making a lot of noise and uh, okay so the clicking as you're leaving is getting louder obviously um, it takes you 30 seconds to get back to them it's a big area uh, you're trying not to get lost as well because there's plenty of places to turn into yeah uh yeah, you, you find them. Guys, guys, there's like 100 people hiding over here in the crypt, and they're talking about some giant crabs coming to kill them, and they, there was like a lot of clicking noise. We gotta giant go. Giant crabs. We gotta go. Kairos. Uh, as a point of order, Kairos would be Kairos. down the hallway <laughs> to the south. Yeah. You start hearing screaming. Right. So like I, how big? You're hearing I, screaming while you're no, asking that question. I point in the general direction of Kairos turns Kairos. around. Oh, okay. Well, if I hear screaming, then I'm going to run yeah. back. So you're going <laughs> to run towards the screaming? I'm going to run back towards my party. Well, if I see if I see them as I'm running down this hallway, if they're still in that center area, then I'm, I'm going to continue on going. I'm also them. not going to, since I don't know, like, have any idea what he's doing when, when Olakos comes back, I'm going to point in the general direction that I saw Kairos go. Kairos, get back over here. Ah. 
Especially with that, then, yes, I continue towards the screaming. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's, as you can see from the map, it's identical layout. Yeah. Um, yep. And, and uh, I respond to you and I say, head, to for, head for the screams. No, no, where we were. Jarvis, let's go. Follow me. <laughs> and I take Jarvis and Jerry and head them back to the big room. Okay. So that's the Did I by chance finish my identify on that? Uh, you did. Okay. And uh, remind me what you were identifying. This big ass sword. Right. Um, not magical. Cool. She was just that much of a badass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You enter the chamber and you see eight man-sized crabs clicking at people with their claws, and you also see a bearded devil standing behind them, smirking. Roll initiative, please. I'm going to murk this bearded devil. How many crabs? Eight. Damn. 25 to 20. 25 to 15. 15. Good. 15 All right. to 10. <laughs> 13. Okay. One sec, sorry. Ten to five. Nine. Five. All right, Jarvis. You got a nine, Kairos? Correct. And Jarvis a five. Gotcha. Uh, also, Gary, if you feel the migraine getting worse, feel free to head out if you need to. Yeah, it's mostly like just for some reason it's just blurriness, so I'm I'm okay. Most of my character should I know. So. Okay, cool. I'm I'm managing. Um, all right, top of the round. Uh, Rhea runs straight for the group of crabs to try and and uh essentially which uh which room are we in we're in the big room you're in the big room to the east so just like the one with all the columns squares yeah, the, yeah okay. those are columns and uh yeah and all uh, the crabs are in a group in the middle or what are we... they're swarming around they came out of sorry i'm pulling it up they came out of this in the north. There's like a dotted. Yeah. Hallway. Yeah. Uh, all right. And she's going to swing at him. Let's go. With her. Whoa. With her long sword, two handed swings at these massive crabs. And she misses quite horribly. <laughs> And poor Rhea, because mm -hmm. she's going to do what she intended to do, and she's going to draw their attention. That's for damn sure. Crab one is going to snap, snap. That's a hit. Yikes. Oh, Rhea. And now it is the Barb Devil's turn, who's behind all of them. Barb Devil's going to also go after Rhea. And is going to multi-attack. One with its tail, two with its claws. That's a nat 20 on tail attack and oh yeah D10. it's gonna be 18 wow 
Rhea goes from looking f pretty well fine. She didn't look perfect, but she went from looking fine to very injured. And the second attack with the claw is going to hit, and the third with the claw is going to hit as well. I don't know if she's going to make it. Oh, dear. Four, five on the claw attacks, plus three for each. So eight and uh, seven, another 15. She's just hanging on. For now. And now it's another crab's turn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, there's two cra That's a net 20. Oh, <laughs> she down. God. She down. You don't even need... Oh, I guess if you roll high oh. enough to kill her. Has multiple attacks. That's a 12 damage, plus one is 13 damage. She's definitely down now. And the other crab that was in mid-strike against her is going to hit her. And... Advantage. Definitely going to hit. And that's two saves for her down. Jerry. Fails. <laughs> so what are those circles in the middle of the room? Um, let me look. I need a bigger freaking desk. Um, those are like tables or altars you maybe to prepare bodies or whatever. Okay. Uh, are there any crabs around the tables? No. Uh, most of them are kind of to the north of this room. That's where. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and Rhea is also in the north, just kind of getting her ass kicked. She's prone. Yeah. This room is in pretty rough shape. Uh, it's in better shape than the room above, but the earthquakes have affected the whole structure and uh, the space the crabs came out of doesn't look like it was, it looks like it was made by the earthquake and uh, there's probably under the table, there's a little secret door that um, would have been the original, still is, but uh, the original entryway. So you want to? So hit I came in. From, I came into that room from the south. Do we know exactly where, like, our group is? You're probably. Like, can I even get to one crab? You can get there with a dash. What's your movement again? Forty. You can get to one for hmm. sure without a dash. Without a dash. Oh, without a dash. Without oh, okay. a dash. So if I just use the dash action and I try to go pick up Rhea, and then can I, do I have any movement left coming back? Uh, you'll be at the half speed. Would be, so would dash be the action and then I can't pick her up? You'll have some movement left because you'll be... 10, okay, 20, that's what he does. 40, he tries. 40, 50, Jerry tries to run in the thick of things and grab Rhea and... Try to pick her up and run sure. as far back south as he can. How do you want to make your way? How would he make his way through the thicket? There's eight crab man-sized crabs, so you're gonna. <laughs> so you can either. You I can thought you either, said that they were like kind of filing in one by one. They they're making their way. They can wall climb, uh, so they're making their way in in multiple <laughs> dimensions. Uh, you can either acrobatically make your way to her, or you can just kind of like like a running back running through the line you can <clears throat> yeah he just he tries to bulldoze through like a couple of them <laughs> to try to <laughs> knock them and then get to her grab her make an athletics check just you're going to be able to do it most likely unless you roll a one nice. athletics 25 yeah you're good uh, you knocking the, it's mostly like their legs that are getting in the way and there's pretty flimsy. You hear a couple of them snap. Uh, 
and you grab her and you don't have much movement left, you're still going to be well within reach of... Uh, sorry, my phone just went off. Uh, you're going to be well within reach of any crabs, but you have her in your grasp. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I meant to say I'm raging as a bonus action. Cool. Deal. Uh, that's perfect because one of the crabs is going to take a claw attack at you. It's going to be an 11 to hit? Nope. Nope. Rollercoast, your turn. Mute. You're muted. Seeing as Jerry has cleared a path, I am going to use my speedy cat legs to get up there. My feline agility. You're going to get in melee Jerry's range? Feet. Yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is why you get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 were able to do that you cuz that makes your speed it doubles it, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And so I want to get there um cure wounds level 2 Rhea. Nice. So glad the ranger went before me. I rolled so obligation good. removed. Uh, 16 health she gets. Roll the 7 and an 8. I honestly am surprised. I wasn't expecting you guys to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm emotional for Rhea, man. It's so good. <laughs> if it were the elephant, though, it wouldn't have happened. I would have definitely healed the elephant. Us animal people have to stick together. <laughs> uh... That would have hurt your cred on the celestial circuit there, Jarvis. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> word spreads quick in the celestial circuit. <laughs> Did you hear about this wizard named Jarvis? <laughs> Did to a holophant? Okay. So anyway, she gets 16 health. Cool. And yeah, then she I want to use whatever again. movement I have left to get out of there. You got about 10 feet. Can I... Am I surrounded? You can get out of the immediate thicket of like two or three of them. So if they want, they can easily get to you and attack you. But you're not immediately within range. They are going to take an opportunity attack unless you have something that... All right, I'll stand there. So you're going to stand? Uh, you're not going to take the opportunity? Nope. Okay. Nope. I'm going to draw my swords, my two short swords. Cool. This is how... Rangers are played. <laughs> <laughs> Melee rangers are a thing. They exist. They do, just usually not not sharpshooter. Not sharpshooter. <laughs> yeah. Uh perfect. Okay. And one of the crabs is gonna take a snap at you. And that's gonna be a twenty not yep. natural. Yeah, all I can think about right now is the Crab Brave YouTube video. I don't think I've seen that. That's seven piercing damage. Okay. And uh, I neglected to do the second part of their claw action, which is grapple on the previous ones. But I remembered now, unlucky for you, Rollercoast. So that's a make a... Uh, a... Uh, Actually, no, we'll do it on your turn. We'll just say you're grappled right now. Oh, okay, I was going to say it's a 15, whatever. Yeah. Either... Top of your turn. Top of your turn, we'll, we'll make your... Okay. Just remind me of that number. All right. Lulu's turn. She would give you the middle finger if she could. And she's going to run into the fray... That's it. That's for you, no. Jarvis. I'm about to save her too. <laughs> and she's 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 a she's a, a tiny elephant, so uh, but still pretty hefty. Let's see. She's gonna do her trumpet. We're gonna Sparkle do her trumpet. Tr her trumpet of blasting. 
right at the curbs, and they're all going to have to make constitution saving throws. Yeah, there you go. Two fails. <laughs> Did it. Did it. Um... Didn't even need the four, soundboard this time. Four fails. Oh, I can do good elephants. That's six fails. Go, Lulu. All eight, eight of the crabs failed. Yes! That's impressive. He's useful again. She's always I've, useful. That's the worst nine rolls I've ever had in my <laughs> life because every single one of them like, failed. The highest roll I got was an 11. That's rough. Oh, it's rough for them. Rough for them. All right. Thunder damage. I'm going to use my phone to roll this. Whoa, get out of here. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Is there a cat on your keyboard? No, I would I would not own a uh, a cat before a dog and I have no pets unfortunately. Roll coast doesn't approve. But the rest of us do. Okay, so... Yep. Unbelievable. She got 21 <laughs> damage. Oh my god. Are they all dead? They all have 22 health. The highest two have 20 health. Oh my god. So she just took out all the crabs. Oh my god. And one blasting of her trumpet. That's a pretty incredible. Good job, Lulu. I guess that's oh, what a uh, failing... I guess that changes what I'm going to do. <laughs> Were any of the civilians not good people? After what happened to Ray, <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got to use my rage for this one for with eight crabs. Yep. Oh yeah, I aren't we affected? prepared to burn some stuff. No, aren't she... we affected by this? It's a cone so coming out of her... Okay her trunk so she you know tried to she got in the fray and then tried to angle it yeah all right uh well that was productive I just, like, I just like to think that like one random civilian that was in the sparkle blast like dropped dead because they were actually a really shitty person <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> but I think was, everyone else around them was fine. It was it was not the sparkle this time. It was the trumpet. So it was it just was the trumpet. Okay. Thunder damage, and gotcha. so these crabs. You saw them when the trumpet uh, went off. The crabs just kind of shuddered and shook, and some of their legs just kind of crumpled, and some of their eyes popped. Their eye stalks just went, and uh, it's pretty pretty gnarly, but cool. It's your turn, Kairos. There's a bearded devil. Can I reach it? Uh, is at the top of the room. You're going to have to dash. Bummer. Shoot it. With what? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have javelins? Do we pull a jerry and throw a javelin? You don't have any have... bow or anything? No. No, paladins don't do ranged attacks. That's ridiculous. I mean, I do have a javelin on my uh, <laughs> equipment list, but I could have sworn I threw it and didn't have it anymore. Okay, <laughs> but I didn't take fair. it off, so maybe I still do. It's up um, to you. Now nah, I'll just run up to him and uh, growl in his face. Okay. And get ready to slap him with my uh, you're about, with Heaven's Fall. You're about 10 feet away from him when you finish. Even after dashing? Yeah. Okay. If I did my math correctly, let me double check. Because you're there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your movement is 60 with dash, right? Yep. Yeah, so 10 feet. <clears throat> I just yell at him and try to draw his attention. Gotcha. All right. Not giant crab's turn, not giant crab's turn, not giant crab's turn, not giant crab's turn, not giant crab's turn. I was just crossing out all the... Uh, Rhea is now awake. You're like fireman carrying her, probably, Jerry? Yeah. Did I get skipped? Did you? No, you're at the bottom. 
Oh, I thought Rhea went first. Okay. Oh, yeah, she did. Uh, Jarvis, yeah, it's your turn. Cool. Um, three Fire three missiles off at this spine devil. Or bearded devil. And your range is like 100 and something on that? Something ridiculous, yeah. Are you using your wand or using your... I'm using the wand. Okay. I don't actually think I have that spell outside of the wand. Oh. Go ahead and mark the charge off, or the charge, yeah. whatever it is, and tell me the damage. Definitely the most efficient uh, way I've heard of getting rid of crabs in my yeah. life was just with... I was about to do something use a completely trumpet. different, and that changed it. So uh, that would be 10 damage to Homeboy with okay. the three missiles that fire at him. They shoot out, and they go around the columns in different paths, and then eventually, boo, 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 hit him. And uh, parts of his spikes fall down and break, uh, fall off his body. Jarvis, that was Jarvis. Now it's Rhea's turn. Uh, Rhea's going to kind of climb off if you allow her, or you're going to try to grapple her. Okay. No, uh, she looks like she got healed. Okay, and I put her down. Yep. She hops off, and she's going to run towards the bearded devil. Uh Rhea. <laughs> 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 just healed you. Plus the fuck shit up. She's also not like the Rhea, like she's emo Rhea. Remember, yeah. she's yeah. Yeah. she's very uh broken, emotional. Yeah. Two long Getting sword attacks and have a good cry. Oh, she actually hit one of them. Good for her. Nice, nice. Ten damage on the bearded devil. Barb devil, excuse me, I've been saying bearded. All right, Dreb the barbed devil is going to... Don't need this anymore. Bye-bye, giant crabs. You were long lived. No. Yeah. Uh... The bearded devil is going to... I thought that was going to be another green green monkey situation. <laughs> there's like eight of them and you just can't, like, there just stays so many turns that you, you, get, you really get into a high-risk situation. Do you remember that, Brian? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> the barrel, yep. Of, the sure barrel of monkeys? That... Sure do. I miss coming up with crazy-ass shit like that. <sighs> Homebrew's fun. <laughs> I like the way you guys reacted to it, though. I don't know. Something what, different. getting my face smashed into the ground by eight monkeys? My other players are, like, <laughs> so... Um, what's... I don't... Like, almost... They're just, like, assassins. They're so good at some of this shit that some of my stuff just... That I think is going to get them is just... They don't get into trouble like that. And it's to me, it's more fun. This sounds like a very backhanded. I don't know how um, to. <laughs> no, it's meant. You guys to are be... so bad. I love it. <laughs> it's not meant to be. I understand. You make it fun for him. They're I very suck. efficient. Yes. Yeah. They're very efficient, goal-oriented people. <laughs> Yeah, and characters. they talk it out and shit, and it's like they say, "Well, if you do that, you're gonna, you might get into this situation." And it just kind of gets old after a while. Oh, no, you got you got to shut up if you're in combat. There's no time to speak in combat. And Please. if you're not in combat, you just got to pull that lever. <laughs> Without a mage hand, of course. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's table rules that were made a long time ago, and uh, yeah. they pay me. So that's... <laughs> so there's that. That changes things. This, this uh, barb devil is going to... Flare its spikes, kind of like the uh, in Jurassic Park, the uh, little dino that goes. Um, is gonna do that, and gonna let out a screech. So all of you within range, which everyone except Jarvis, of because you're not within thirty feet, make a wisdom saving throw. 
Just curious, how far am I from the bearded devil? Like 20 feet. Okay. Did you say wisdom? Wisdom. 13. Save. Five. Five. Fail, fail. <laughs> Guess we know what, uh, what I needed to roll. What the number was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu fails and Rhea succeeds. So, Lulu, Jerry, Kairos, you take 14 psychic damage and you're frightened of the devil until the end of its next turn. Do I take half or no? It does not say that. Oh, all right. Psychic True damage does suck. that. Psychic damage usually does shit like that. Um, cool, that's its turn. Jerry, you're frightened. You can't, you can't go towards the devil. Uh, you can only go adjacent parallel to it, staying the same amount of feet away. Uh, you're at disadvantage on attacks. If I try to throw the glaive that I got last round, is there some sort of disadvantage to that? Um, no, because you're trained in it, right? It's not a thrown weapon. I think there is, though. Now that I think about it. It's screw like it, throwing no. an axe, I would assume. Yeah, screw it, no. No penalty. Just, it's going to be like throwing a javelin. Fuck it. Okay, I'm going to attack. Can I attack recklessly if I'm scared? Does recklessly require that it's a melee attack? Mm, that, would, that would make more sense. I'll just attack regularly. Okay. Disadvantage. Because of the fear. Oh. I'm not going to hit. Uh, let's see. 11? No, that does not. You throw it and it clangs off the wall. It's reminiscent of one of your javelin throws when you're throwing it at the people climbing the wall in Baldur's Gate. Uh, anything else? Um, no. Okay. Rollercoast. I take my two shots at him. Uh, the, what is it? Plus, holy shit, I have plus 10 to hit. It's a 23. hey And a 27. Oh, yeah. Uh, the first hit does 10 damage. The second hit does 12. Nice. 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 That's it for me. Lulu. Lulu. I guess Lulu's gonna sparkle this guy. What's the range on? Oh, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> She fine. Saving throw for the devil. She shoots sparkles out of her tr- trunk. Uh, and he makes a save. And it's 4d8. 8 damage because it's halved. I hate this pencil. All right. Kairos. I struggle with the fear that I'm feeling and don't do anything. All right. Uh, Jarvis. I think you're muted. That is it. Uh, Jarvis sees this party acting all weird and shit and casts sleep. And I rolled a 32. (sighs) Not, Not enough. (laughs) <laughs> that must mean i was really close <laughs> what mi- what must mean your reaction oh okay uh you were relatively close it's all relative oh, is sleep yeah. targetable or isn't it just an aoe and it affects all the creatures <clears throat> in it it's yeah but i think i can it's only i don't think it's everyone it's only 
I believe you, you can pick the creature. Yeah, I can. Oh, it I think I can determine the lowest HP one uh, of the ones you pick. Okay. So you don't get to choose how many sleep yeah. eight, sleep HP go to each care each creature, but you can pick which creatures. If I remember from when my players were abusing sleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it's how the spell's used. It's not abusing it whatsoever. You're thinking in Kragma Castle. I think uh, the entire Lost Minds run. But yeah. So actually, maybe I misunderstood the spell. Let's hear it. The spell sends creatures in magical slumber. Roll 5d8. The total how many uh, creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose within range are affected in ascending order of their current hit points. Yeah. Ignoring the- unconscious creature. So highest right but it doesn't say anything about me determining who like who's not who it doesn't apply to like other spells do but it's an area yeah it's a 20 it's a yeah so so you can direct like you're not gonna hit anyone okay but i guess for future reference i need to keep that in mind that anything within 20 feet will fall asleep even if it's my party sounds good good to know Ray is not going to do anything, but the Barb Devil is. And. The Barb Devil is going to mutter an incantation and fill the air with spinning daggers conjure the air, conjured spinning daggers um it's in a um, cube. Can, yeah what's up um so i see him casting this spell and i use my reaction to counter spell it cool um this is a innate ability, so I'm not going to make you cross, because I described it incorrectly, I'm not going to make you cross out that spell um, slot. Okay. But, so like if it's innate in the creature, like if you were fighting a dragon and it spit flames at you, you can, that, that has magical, like it, it functions magically, uh, to overcome resistances, but it's not something you could. It's not a spell. Got it. Okay. And this is kind of a similar thing, but I feel like I could have described that better. So I'm not going to make you. Otherwise, you would have lost that spell slot. So noted. Cool. Yep. Um, is there something else you want to do? Nope. That was my only reaction. So, okay. No. But this cube is going to hit Raya. For 44. 44. Is he saying 4d4 or 44? I hope not 44. Ray already got took a beating once. Ray is going down. Because I just rolled a 16 on a 4d4. Wow. Damn. Bye, bitch. Hi, bitch. <laughs> Jerry, it's your turn. Do I? Am I still scared? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I just like Jerry. Just like rolls his eyes at Rhea, and then um, he runs up to the Barb Devil to do some uh, mall action. It's a twenty-one. Yes. You get two attacks, right? Yeah, I'm just. Do you want me to? I guess it's I can figure you. out if uh, they both hit. Uh, 18. Yes. Oh, nice. Unleash it. Unleash them all. Ooh, yeah. Oh no. Ah. A mall is two d six. I rolled. I rolled a five, and then I rolled three ones. Bummer. Uh, so nine 20 20 damage 
Oh, eight. 20 damage total. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that's plus. fucking fantastic. That's... I get a plus six on each one, so. <laughs> I love barbarians. Oh, my God. I rolled a five and a three ones. It's shitty. 20 damage. <laughs> I know, right? It's awesome, though. Uh, okay. Anything else, Dave? Uh, nope. That's, a, that's all I can do. Okay. Uh, as you're finishing swinging, you hear a voice in your head that says, uh, Hi, is this Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> Jerry, yes. my hey. name is Linda, and I'm calling from uh, Minaros, and... Uh, We've got a timeshare here that you signed up for with your it's got your whole name on it. And uh we're wondering if you want to use your your allotted time for the year. How much is it going to cost me? Well, that's another thing I was calling about, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Uh, Jerry. I'm kind you... of in the middle of something right now. <laughs> <laughs> and she just goes on uh and I'll get back to that as we go on. Uh, Who is cool. this person? What's happening? Oh, someone described to Rob. <laughs> this is like a, this is like a oh, telemarketer. Yeah. I have like a telemarketer that calls me from within my own head. So someone got a hold of Jerry's information and started <laughs> selling it to all sorts of organizations. I believe Some last third time party it was last my... time it was orphan. No, who is, is it? it? When you it must have been yeah. like model live model. orphans, like a reverse orphanage. live orphans for dead orphans or something <laughs> like. It that. was a reverse orphanage. It was it was a charity that Jerry could give things to, like his soul, to replenish the supply of orphans. So it they kill parents. So Jerry's on Jerry's on <laughs> a bunch of orphans. lists from in for hellish uh, telemarketers. Uh, to do <laughs> maybe the worst list you could be on, probably. <laughs> wow, Roz, that must have been real confusing for yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> like, what is going on? I didn't want to interrupt, but I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Me and, me and Brian just started dying laughing. He's like, I don't get it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Rollercoaster, it's your turn. Two attacks. Pew, pew. Uh, the first one is 14. The second one is 18. Uh, the 18 hits. Eight damage. Okay. And I'm going to back up 20 feet. Oh, sounds good. Lulu's turn. And she is going to... She's going to run up and tusk this mofo. Blink. And she's going to miss. <laughs> miss. Kairos. Let's see. Okay, that's going to hit. That's an 18 plus things. Another one won't hit. I don't know what my plus is now. 13 and 25. Uh, the 25, 25 hits. hits. Oh, not very good. That is an 8 damage. Nice. It's looking pretty messed up. Um, I'm... If he's looking hurt because he's been hit a few times, why not? I'll use a smite slot. Mr. Smite. I'll smite him. Do you guys remember Mr. Smite? smite. From WoW? No. no. Dead Mines? <laughs> no. He was the Minotaur? Vaguely, yeah. Cow person? Uh... Nope, lost it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Had him until Cal. That's what you needed, Kairos. The bar. Sweet. I did it. You did do it. The bar was useful. Eventually. Goes down. Oh my kill. <laughs> and Jerry, you hear uh, Linda say, uh, "That's another thing." I was calling about Jerry. You're behind on your payments for this 
for this timeshare. What? You don't remember signing up for a a timeshare. When did I sign up? Uh, I don't know, Jerry. It. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't there when you signed up, but uh, your name you is can't on look my up list. My records. Your name is on my list, uh, Mister. And Ukorsh. it's just my name and nothing else. Uh, it's just Jerry Ukorsh, and it's some O. The person who wrote this down didn't write the the uh, last part very legibly. Can you take me off the list, please? Uh, Mr. Ukorsh, uh, that you are signed up, you are contractually <laughs> obligated. Make an insight check. Oh man, no one, no one calls me Mr. Nat 20. <laughs> She's clearly like lying to you to get it's a total scam. Like, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Ukorsh, you are signed, you're legally obligated to pay money. Or part of your soul. Oh, as... you know what? There's some um, some thunder rolling in. Oh no, there isn't. I don't hear anything. <laughs> no, I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Because you, uh... <laughs> you think it's a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding. I'm holding my sword, like or my uh, <laughs> your wall. Uh, Hello. You okay over there, Jer? I think I can. Uh, what? I can't hear you. Oh, I'm losing you. <laughs> you may you may play this game with me, Jerry, but I will have my supervisor talk to you next time, okay? Supervisor. So, so y- you can look forward to that. And he is much, much meaner than me. So uh, have a good day. That's it. Well, thanks. I need you to go to Target. She did say have a good day at the end. Buy some iTunes I made up cards. for everything. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna enjoy that. <laughs> so, you guys, left... I think I have a timeshare. I don't know when what? I signed up for it though. Who has timeshares? You know Where is it? Trap? Where is it? I don't know. They didn't tell me anything else. Minaros, she said. It's Minaros. Kind of seems like a scam. It's in, it's in Minaros. They said I forgot. It's another level of hell. I was gonna say, did they did they mention oh, having to pay in i minstrel gift cards? <laughs> no, they said I had to pay with my soul. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Anywho, I don't know what I'm gonna do. How hello, do you hide from refugees? These guys? They just get in your head. Um. Did yeah. You hello. Guys notice all of these people. They're all cowering. Two of them are dead. Why'd we kill them? No, you didn't kill him. The crabs got to him. I go, hey, Ray, are you okay? She's is down. Freya one of the oh, ones she's, she's prone again? She went down, and I haven't been rolling her death saves, and it's been... Oh, I healed her. Or did she go down again? She went uh, down, down again. again. She, went down again. She, she immediately went and attacked the barb devil as soon as she was... Can anyone healthy. heal her? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I got this one, and um, I just kind of poker. I think, I think 18 like, seconds went by since the end of that fight. Sure. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. I need one of you. I need two of you to each roll a d twenty. I'll roll one of them. Six. Success. <laughs> also a six. <laughs> and I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna a third roll. six. And then she turns into Satan. I'm gonna roll another one. We skip to the end of the game. The third. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Turns into Zariel. There's Hold on. His face. You didn't roll a six, did you? Six. Holy shit. It's a six? Holy shit. It's either that or a one. Right. I'll post it in the Discord. (laughs) Ray had just died. (laughs) What? In In suspense while we wait for you to post this. Can't see it. You can't see it. It's way too bright. God damn it! Fucking iPhone. See it. It's posted it's in the Discord. Come up for you. Oh, I clicked away from Zoom. I'm on one tiny monitor. It's like he didn't post it. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? You can't see it. I'll post it in general. 
Get two monitors, boy. Come on. I had to shift my desk. You weren't here to hear the explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my bedroom. I'm not on my desk. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, that's a six. It was a six. Fuck. <laughs> six, 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 <laughs> and hell, she's dead. That's fucking fantastic. I'm so happy about that. That makes me Satanic really resurrection, anybody? Lulu goes, oh my goodness, is she dead? Um, And I try to zap her with a lay on hands point. <laughs> it doesn't <Go>. work. <laughs> And her body kind of kind of goes nothing. Uh, see, horror is uh, all about a balance. I've used that a lot, and it's worked really well. And uh, this time I used it, and it didn't work so well. So I'm gonna go with Ray's dead. Jerry's just crying. He's like down on he's down on two knees. He's just like I tried to save her. <laughs> so did I. God damn it. I uh I'm gonna admit guys I I didn't try very <laughs> sorry. I mean this one, might, this one might be on me. It's gonna I be mean, a balance. You, You're gonna have to pay for not trying so hard. You you uh, guys did like two of you tried to help her and, and she just she, she seems like she just wanted to die. I was gonna say, like part of this is kind of on her. Like like he, a little like bit maybe Jerry went to go get her and then Rollercoast brought her back to life and she just ran back into the fight. Like I she mean, wanted that's this. What badasses that's do. all she's been doing. I understand saying that I continue to run into fights <laughs> that I shouldn't be running into. You didn't do that earlier today though. <laughs> you, you just chill that from was, a distance and just started sniping people. In my judgment. Mm. You, so that was a lapse. Where are you just are you just really upset that you hit Kairos? Uh, a few times is that why you decided to do close and close combat no i'm, I'm really notorious for feel running into the enemies i feel yeah. like at this point you have done it several times lulu's gonna make an insight check on whether that's true on you i so mean you can... it is <laughs> <laughs> so it's true oh yeah you I've... don't feel bad about raya no about kyra like lulu said that do you just feel bad that you hit and that's why you ran? Uh, no, I mean okay. she was my <laughs> friend, so I, I didn't want her to die. She's been no, but do you feel bad about hitting Kairos earlier in the day? No, not at all. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. You shouldn't have been standing there. <laughs> no, it's a great thing I was standing there. If I wasn't, you wouldn't have had anything to pin it to. The only reason you shot me was because I was the only thing nearby to pin demons to. <laughs> it's my signature shot, you know. Just, Somebody you had to do it. Away. <laughs> so should we, like, have a moment of silence and, I don't what? know, throw her in one of these tombs? Feria, Feria oh, Jinx. Oh, yeah, we're in a crypt. Feria Jinx, uh, priestess of Torm. She's very low level and the highest thing left in the in the uh, cathedral temple. Um, she comes up and says, I'm very sorry for your loss. I can provide... She was a hell rider? Yes. Yeah. Don't tell her that, though. She's probably in the... She pats the book that's in her hand. She's definitely in this book, then. Um, I'll provide last rites for her. Um... While I'm doing that, uh, before I do that, did you, and she's still talking like quietly hushed in a hushed tone. And she says, did you take care of the mummy yet? Uh Oh, no, mm, nope. What mommy? What mummy? On the other side of the crypt, there's some sarcophagi and it comes out every once in a while and it was attacking before Raven Guard and his men left. So we've been in fear of not only the crabs, and thank you so much for taking care of them, not only the crabs and the barb, barb thing, the spiky thing, but also that mummy. Well, I, I was I, I was probably headed right in that direction, it sounds like, but then I someone over here screamed. Real quick, yeah. roll that back. Where did Raven Guard go? Raven Guard, he went to investigate the cemetery. Um, 
something about undead and a portal, demon portal or something. Um, uh, he thinks that that's where a lot of these things are coming from, and he 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 just needs to. He was very intent on taking care of it. Does it have to do with devils and demons fighting each other? I think this whole thing is. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm just low level. I was. I was studying in the temple, and then the city was pulled down. Here, a big earthquake, and and people around start like crying well, quietly. And will you eulogize our friend Rhea? I'm going to, but I, are, are you going to take watch watch our backs while in case the mummy attacks? Yeah, we'll take care of it for you. Do you guys know where you are? We're in El Terrell still, I assume. And and uh, yep, that's all. They they said that we went to there's like a red sky and the companion cube changed and there's like a black a black hole above the city and somebody mentioned that we're floating above a really in a different place like it's not El Terrell. But I'm not. Yeah. I've been down in the, down here and around the cathedral. I didn't go outside. I dare not go outside. I I hope to Probably God it's not idea. true, but I'm starting to believe it is true. Oh, it's super true. All of it. It's probably actually worse than you've heard. It's real bad. You're in a bad spot. It's not good. We've basically done nothing but fighting since we got here. And you hear like kids go, "Mommy, Daddy," and like start just crying over hearing you say this. Yeah. Like a lot of them aren't going to make it. Sure. Oh, sure. Sure. Take it <laughs> no, I mean, he's right. He's just, no, no, those Kairos. Kairos. Those Kairos. no, those kids we saw outside, like no, the, there the was woman. no kids outside. Yeah. The, we ran we, it. Oh, no, sh- you, you were up sh- in the buildings. We, we ran sh- into, we don't need to scare them any more than they're already <laughs> scared. <laughs> There's kids going, because they're being muffled, their cries are being muffled. You just hear <laughs> no, but that other kid wasn't scared at all, and he kept talking back. And he's definitely going to die. I mean, it's, it's just what—that's what I told him too. Can we go kill a Jerry's mommy? Right? Yeah, Jerry just goes wandering off and <laughs> knocking on sarcophagi to see where this mummy is. Kairos, uh, you definitely notice like twelve adults are giving you dirty looks for saying all all this and scaring their children just they're just like it's what the fuck is wrong with you type of looks and a six foot four imposing part demon looks back at them and just like what (laughs) 13 if you count roller coach (laughs) It's a good thing Rolico's barged into that room first and not the one who looks like a demon. <laughs> Me. So, you're going to head yeah. where they the described. Other side. And so you head down the hall and to your uh, to your uh, to the south, you're passing just what looks like when you pass by and peek in are just um, kind of family nooks where uh, bodies are wrapped up. You don't see any sarcophagi directly in there. Um, you just see wrapped bodies. Um, but you were told to go to the west and go into the what? The Temple of the Highest, which is another part of this crypt area. And... Um... You see 12 sarcophagi uh, looking at the map. You guys got the map? Yep. On the far western edge of the map, you see these little indentations in the columns on the north and south part of the this room here in the middle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So in each one of those is a sarcophagi. Gotcha. Are they all closed? They're all closed. Is Jerry knocking on all of them? <laughs> yeah, Jerry. I'm just taking my mall and just being... <laughs> clunk, clunk. You don't hear anything uh, when you clunk, clunk, clunk on them. I've never seen a mummy before. And nothing happens. 
what else do you do? Um, I'm going to take a knee in the center of the room and I'll start praying to Torm and Hor. Just praying. About what? <clears throat> um, to deliver us from evil and uh, um, scour the evil from this holy church. Um, talking about evil and good mummies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, look and see if any of these tombs look like they've been opened recently. Like if the dust is more disturbed around one than the others. So you're gonna investigate? Yeah. Roll for investigation. Fourteen. While he's off on the other side investigating 17. as he's starting, I also start shooting fireballs at them. Okay. They, they are stone sarcophagi oh they're stone beautiful that's not gonna work okay you don't i mean yeah i didn't yeah, mention I, that. I didn't realize they were stone sorry yeah i didn't mention that so you don't have to you were only doing cantrip though yeah yeah okay you're fine uh you find one that you think is uh the culprit hey jerry open this one up would you I uh, I take the the like non business end of my javelin and I like try to try to open it, okay. try to pry it. Make a athletics check. Twenty. That's enough. You pop it open and you see a body wrapped in similar things that you've seen as you were making your way here and as you open it it goes <laughs> roll initiative roll initiative uh, I almost 21. choked when I did that noise that would have been embarrassing for everyone don't die Ray uh, already did that for us <laughs> uh, 20 to 15 15. Uh, 21. 18. Kairos, what'd 12. you get? 12. 12. Yes. My, my little pally initiative roll of 12. All right, Jerry, you're up first. Maul. Maul. 19? Yes. 22? <laughs> Good God. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I love reading D&D Beyond documentation and everything being blurry. 29. Jesus Christ. Nice first round, sir. Those, yeah, I got some <laughs> nice D6s. And the mummy died. Roller coast. <laughs> I take my two attacks plus my dread ambusher since it's the first one. So my first attack is a 15. Yep. Second attack is a 26. Yep. Dread ambusher. Is a 23. Yep. Oh boy. All right, so it's 12 plus 9 is 21 plus so 21 plus 15. Plus five twenty, so forty-one damage. Jesus. How do you want to kill Jeez. this thing? Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> My droid ambusher gets an extra damage die, and I rolled an eight on it. Um, I just is there anything to pin it to? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> without that, that would be crazy high. Yeah, the uh, sarcophagus. Yeah, I End. try to pin him back to like he like stood up i'm just like no 
uh, yeah, you were out of combat. You see a uh, small... Who's got the highest perception again? Passive perception. I got a 17 pa- uh, 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 perception, sorry. Never mind. It's investigation. Hello, where did I write it? My Rolicos, dread ambusher attack alone did 20 damage. Rolicos, you see a little tiny gem at the in the bottom of the the uh, sarcophagus. I will uh, pick it up. Okay. Uh, you also find some bracers in there. Oh. Some nice looking fil- filigreed out bracers. Hey, Jarvis. Might have some more work for you to do, and I'll hand them both of them. Jarvis, what do you do? Uh, what were they again? Bracers and a yellow gem. Um, I think we can hold on to these and look at them later. Sure. And we could probably go back and catch the end of uh, you know, them putting Rhea to rest. Seems like you guys uh, might care about that. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be nice. I, I'm just, um... Yeah, come on. Let's go, Kairos. You too. <laughs> so you head back, and she's sprinkling holy water on her body as a couple other people are trying to wrap it up. And uh, yeah, they have her. They have her with her arms crossed and her weapon on her chest. Are there torches in this room? Everything's lit with continual flame. All the sconces are lit with continual flame. Um, if I can use thaumaturgy to uh, affect the color of the continual flame torches that are lit around, um, or the continual flame, whatever they are. Sure. <clears throat> then I'm going to turn all of them like a silvery white for Rhea's service. Sure. Oh, that sounds it's one fine. of the thaumaturgy effects. Thaumaturgy I just effects. I slap Kairos on the back and I go, "You, you big softy, you." <laughs> and just to provide a, a softer light for these terrified children, I suppose. They go, whoa! Some of the kids go, whoa! Um, yeah, and uh, it's been a long day for you guys. Yeah. How's everyone yeah. doing? Doing fine. Oh, I would have I'm been fine. doing a lot worse if like all eight crabs weren't trumpeted to death. I still got I still got a smite in me. Yeah, um, I still actually got some spells. I don't have any rages left, so <laughs> once Freya is done doing all of that, I'm gonna ask her where the cemetery was. And, like is it attached to this castle thing or is it like far away? I'm also from El Terrell, so I, if it's a big cemetery, I might know where it is in the city. It's attached, uh, okay. but um, we'll get to that next episode. And uh, are you guys going to take a long rest, or are you just going to keep pushing on? I, I say I need a long rest just so I have, any, I have some rages. The cemetery's here, so... Do we just go up and check it real quick and then come back down and rest? It's up to me. We got extra I'm, eyes here. I feel I'm like fine with that. Out. You're getting to the point where you're starting to feel exhausted. Yeah, I'd rather just, I mean, we got extra eyes here. So if something comes, uh, there's like a big meat shield before it gets to, I mean, <laughs> don't let us know something's coming. Before we got to work. Exactly <laughs> work on this, bud. <laughs> Hey, can you guys just stand in a circle around <laughs> us? Like maybe double double up on the circle while we sleep. Double stack it. Yeah. <laughs> if anything comes in, cover our cover us with your bodies. Yeah, Kairos lay. <laughs> Kairos says to one of the kids, "Hey, while we're sleeping, go out and play around here. And if anything happens, scream really loudly." Uh. <laughs> so are you guys gonna take a long rest? You look like yeah, we'll take a long yeah, we'll sure. take a long rest and give these people some peace of mind for okay. a few hours while we're nearby. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, in that case, you level up. 
Yeah! Two six, I think. Do we I get, get our my full rock. Rest? Pardon me? Do we get our full rest so I can do it on here? Uh, Yes. We'll say you do. I get my stone. I get my transmuter stone. Cool. Um, We'll pick that up next time. Thanks for listening or watching. Hopefully this recording is not as terrible as it was last week. There's sound. actually edit it. Yeah, there should be sound. So that's a positive. Um, Yeah, next week, 7 p.m. Pacific, Venture Ventures channel here on Twitch. Thank you very much. Be good to others and be excellent to yourself. You could be excellent to others as well if you wanted. Except the elephants. No, especially the elephants. We'll see you later. Don't shoot your dogs.